Hello, young man. Actually, little step, step, little boy. Step, 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 step. Young boy. You too, young boy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is I, Nate Kramer, with my lovely wife, Katie Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What are we doing? I am getting yeah. some greens to give the chickens that don't have grass. Okay. So I've got some zinnia leaves. Our neighbors just gave us some zinnias. And I was going to get some comfrey. Since we Winston, have... Our Winston's going to help. He is. Kinsley's in the truck. She wants to stay in her safe place. Her cozy little spot. Yeah. We just We just went up to the neighbors and got a bunch of green bean leaves for the sheep and then a bunch of other things like zinnia, zinnias and some tomatoes some tomatoes and a pepper one pepper one pepper <laughs> nothing is just right in my face there we go can you i can we got so much of it we do It'll be plentiful for years to come. Yes. Be able to dig some up and... Yep, transplant I should have uh, brought my apron. Yes. Didn't think this through. You talked about bringing your apron in your mm. roo sleeve, or your sleeves, gardening sleeves. Yep. My farmer's defense, farmer's defense sleeves, and my roo apron. And to I, uh, our neighbors. And I forgot. This was kind of a spur of the moment. I looked, I saw it and I was like, well, since I'm going to be giving them some zinnias, might as well give them some comfrey. And then we can give the sheep the green beans also. Okay. It'll just be we'll, a... We'll use the pitchfork for that. When yeah. we were picking the green beans, uh, Very itchy. something caused us to really, really itch yeah. along our hands and our forearms. And then we thought, oh, we'll just do some hand sanitizer that up and down worse. our forearm. That made it worse. <laughs> All right. All right, that should be good. Okay. Ouch. You got it? Um, sure. Can you get all that? Yep, got it. Except for that one. Except for that one. Well, I just, yeah, I don't want to lift my shirt up too high, so I got to kind of hold it. All right. Yay. All right, let's go. Oh, I got it. That's bug in my eye. All right. <laughs> well, we had a. Uh... Um, oh, we're okay. Oh, I thought you said up. No, that's fine. Oh, let's do it. No, it's fine. Okay, we'll let's here. not do it. I, I I said just that didn't have greens, but I guess technically there's two coops up here that don't have any grass. Mm -hmm. I was. Hi. Uh, yeah. So, I am partially. I've started. Oh, she's oh now she's ready to go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mama's and the baby's free ranging. <laughs> one little baby. Yeah, just the one. She's happy with it. Oh, we have a new net up here. Yep. I started to get the geese, the shenanigans of up here it's tonight. Well, uh -oh. probably when I'm we're losing done. Them. Probably when we're done filming. Honey. Well. Honey. I, they were Honey. resting on top. I don't really have them. <laughs> and the wind's blowing, so. Ain't my fault. <laughs> Nature nature yeah so the shenanigans will move up here i picked that because there's two shady parts almost all day long yep and then they'll have sun and it has access to water so we can fill up their pool yes any particular just these three yeah no nope. let's give them some oh oh i got it stuck there we go You going over? No, I'm not figuring open. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gent. Would you like some greens other than whatever weeds oh. those are? Did you skip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But probably in a couple different piles. Are we giving some to the ones? Yeah, in the we'll give some to here as well, even though they have green stuff. I'm gonna put some in the coop where the newer ones are. 
right. That was exciting. Mama, your baby's on the wrong side of the fence. Yeah, it's the only thing I'm nervous with putting the shenanigans up here. Oh, yeah. But oh, they knocked their water over. We had a fairly good weekend. It was our anniversary weekend. We decided to try a new place in a town next to us. It was decent. It was okay. It was decent. Yeah. Got really good reviews. And it was decent. Yeah. It was something different. It was something different. Yeah. We're trying to find more places. So when we either have company or if we do decide to go out, we'll have, <laughs> have more options. Because there's really not a whole lot. I'll put that somewhere else later. I'm going to go get Kinsley out of the truck. Okay. Uh, so I'll just be right back. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. She decided she wanted to stay in the truck after all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so weekend work, continued working on electrical in the house. And then we released a video on the Kramer Life with just an update of where we are on the house and doing a kind of a walkthrough of what we've been working on. So that was filmed and edited and released yesterday, Sunday, so two days ago for you guys. Uh, so you guys are pretty much caught up where we are with the house, other than the fact that today, Jim came out and did a bunch of work while I continued working on the electrical. I think I have probably one more day's worth of work on electrical and I'll be done with it. Jim's coming back again tomorrow to finish up some, just some odds and ends. So that way we're ready for drywall um, next week, but I still need to do insulation. So I'll be ordering the insulation tonight so it can be delivered uh, probably on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, the drywall people are gonna come out, just do a site survey, tell us how much material to, to order and have it ready for them next week. So I think we're in a pretty good place with it. Even though it still seems like a lot to do. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. It's always going to seem like a lot. It always seems like a lot. Yeah. It does. It's like if you, if you just bite sight. Oops. Oh, buddy. It just, it helps when somebody else is helping. It yeah. seems like things just go faster. It looks like they got extra, they got an extra run. That's nice. Oh, that wind feels so good. You guys have so much more room now. Look at you. Look at all this room you have. Shenanigans. Do you want some comfrey? <laughs> there you go. Get it. Get it. No, not so sure. Okay. All right, that's fine. You, quackadoos, you're getting a new home tonight. Hi, Quacker Jack. You guys are good to do whatever you want to do. Yep. Oh, it got windy. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. I scared him. I know. What are you so scared about? We need to get in there and do some weeding for you guys. You're not keeping up. So are you still thinking about opening up the run and letting the two flocks mingle? Yeah, so I want to move I want to get these little guys out of tractors. Yeah. So that we don't have any more tractors. Okay. And so in order to do that, I think I'm going to move the salmon favorels up to the pond. Yep. And then I don't know if I want these two groups to intermingle. Uh-huh. 
Um, but so I might, what I might have to end up doing is moving these guys over to here and then putting all the ones in the tractor. Oh. Because they're more size appropriate. Oh, okay. These ones are just a bit bigger. So. Yep, got it. But yeah, I, and then it would, then they would be able to have the run and that, and then they'd have enough purchase. Yeah. And they'd still be protected since they're on, on the smaller side. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go give the, um, sheep. the sheep, the greens. <laughs> yep, we can do that. I'll grab the pitchfork and we'll just bring that over. Yeah, and then uh, did you talk about moving Gen Pop? Uh, I didn't talk about it. I oh, said okay. that the the, the uh, troublemakers were gonna get a new home. Yeah, I'm gonna move the the six geese, the Chinese geese, up to the pond. The shenanigans will move up. Oh, here, let me grab this. They'll move up to the uh, uh, the netting that you saw up by the Brahmas. Excuse me. I got hiccups. Ooh. I am then, ready to get out here and sorry, cut you off and. <laughs> clean up some of the stuff that I'm just not tending to because of this, just focus on the house. That's fine. There's, yeah, lots of I figure lots that would be a good piles. winter, that'll be a good winter project. Yeah. <laughs> when we drove home last night, there were some really pretty uh, fog clouds coming over the mountains. It's really pretty. We tried to get a picture of it, but we weren't able to get a really good one. No, yeah, unfortunately the camera was not, we didn't have the right angle when we got home and the camera wouldn't have done justice anyway. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that is heavy, wow, okay. <laughs> um, hang on, you got a um, bungee. It's, it's on the bottom back here. Oh, okay, here we go. And now the other side's stuck. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna start making my way over there. You do that. Whew. I'm gonna leave those because I yep. don't want to be all itchy again. We have not put our gazebo back up. It is in the carport, just hanging out, waiting for us to put it back together, which it's just a pop-up, so it's super quick and easy. But the reason we took it down is because we had a series of really bad windstorms and we didn't have it staked down and we were tired of it blowing. And so we just need to find a place that we want to put it. Hi ladies. Oh. Hi ladies. <laughs> oh, it's that. New stuff. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> Like, this is new. Let's spread it out for you guys. Oh, they like this. <laughs> She's eating the beans. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Eat your beans. <laughs> Give little boots. Oh. I like how Levi's just sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Just chilling out. Yeah. Just watching. All right, I'll go get the other, the remainder of them. Right. Um, I guess we can push pause for now and then we'll come back to it. Sure. Okay. Levi has decided that he also wants to check out the beans.
What you got? You decided you didn't want to eat the bean after all? They are just digging it, aren't they? Yeah, Levi was also in oh, there. Was he? It was super cute. He's sn sniffing around. Yep. Oh, I got stuck. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. How did that happen? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, ladies. They've been so just hands off, so easy to take care of. They're so much of nicer the, in the spring and summer and so, fall. So, so easy to take care of them. Yeah. They get most of their water from the vegetation they eat. Yeah. They got plenty of vegetation to choose from. Lots of land yeah. to roam and clear. I'm gonna give you this. And, and then... just making sure that they have access to minerals and that's yeah. it. Yep. And make and, sure that you know, they're okay. That they're safe, yeah, yeah. And that they're, yeah, but super easy. They, I mean, they like their shelter, that little <laughs> makeshift shelter that we made out of the hay thing and mm -hmm. the, the chicken tractor. We should probably reach out to the people that we want to get a ram from mm -hmm. and start arranging that. I'm just going to get gonna... a couple buckets of water to fill. Okay. If we're going to Or I guess the hose. Them. Will the hose reach down there? I don't know. We'll just grab a bucket. You guys like your new space? Huh? My special needs. Cream leg bar. Look at those geese, or the ducks. They're so big. They grow so fast. They really do. Little runner ducks. Hi, buddy. You get them on camera? I did. <laughs> They're so fun to watch when they do that. Uh-huh. I've been I've been thinking about getting one of those solar cameras that's internet capable and do live streaming and just always having a live camera on the geese. Here, Katie. Katie. Here. Nice shenanigans. We don't we don't really have a name. We don't really have a name for the six. We don't. We need a good group name for the six. Hmm. I don't know what they would be. Put it in the comments below because I have no thoughts or ideas for that. They're crazy. The six million dollar geese. We think that we have, we're our we haven't sexed them. I just don't want to pick them up and vent sex them right now. But we think we have four males and two females. And we're just basing that off the size of their big old honkers on their top of their nose. I also Whatever kind of that. look underneath because like for our girls, how they have the big pooches. Uh -huh. was, these ones aren't quite old enough yet, but. Let's see. Okay. All right. Just chill. Just, just chill. So this one has a big old honker. And that one's smaller. That one's small. My goodness. 
I don't know if you can hear me. So anyway, four have big, the big humps on their nose and two have smaller humps on their nose. Well, what say you? Ready for some chicken moves? Um, not 100% ready. Okay. We don't have enough netting. Okay, well, are we ready do... for some geese moves? Yeah, ready to move the geese. These ones, I'm hoping we can just... Oh. For the shenanigans. Walk them up there? Mm-hmm. But the other ones we're gonna have to pick up and move. Yeah. Like physically carry. Yeah. So I figured we'd move the shenanigans and then take this netting, uh -huh. move the netting up there, grab them out of gen pop, mm -hmm. move them up there. Uh -huh. And then and then the geese will be all moved into fresh, lots of grass. So they'll have a nice new fresh area. The shenanigans will only be able to stay there for a couple weeks. Yeah. But that's okay. I, I just want to start moving all the birds out of this general area, except yeah. for our one free range flock. And then, yeah, and then I think I could also move the salmon favorals tonight. Yeah, we can do that so we can get the, the ones in the tractors moved. Yep. Okay. So we can probably do that. And then that'll, then all we'll have left to move is gen pop and get that up there. Okay. Uh, but I want to make an, I need to make one more run and I'll use that coop that's in gen pop yeah. to do so. Yep. So I want to build some perches like the ones that we did in the other, um, that we haven't shared in a video yet because I need, I'm not good at final editing. Oh, you need a final edit? <laughs> so if not, you guys would hate the volume because I don't know how to do all the volume stuff yet. I'm still learning. So I can do rough cuts and get it all kind of pieced together in the way that my brain thinks that it, it flows. So yeah, I think I said it's a all pretty right. chill, chill, chill weekend. Yeah, it was a pretty chill weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go move some, some geese shenanigans. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, I'm going to put this back.